first time RVers, how you doing? We are at Barefoot RV Resort once again. Already falling in love with this place. Perfect access to the beach, close to everything. Nice and small, seems to be pretty quiet. So what do you think about that new camera angle? Maddie and Dawn got me a new camera and a um, couple other accessories. So I figured I'd mount it on the camper there so you can watch from there for a little bit. I know we were just here five or six weeks ago. And we, of course we gave a tip of the trip. So we'll figure out a new tip of the trip for, for this trip. So stay tuned for that. Maddie brought some friends with her this weekend and I already took them to the beach, dropped them off for a while. It is a straight shot right out the campground down uh, 37th Avenue. Quarter mile, maybe a little farther is the beach. I uh, didn't find any parking down there. We didn't really look for it yet, but as far as walking, straight shot, not, not too bad at all. This week we're in site 52, another back in sight. We don't have anyone behind us. Well, we actually do have that trailer park behind us, but no big deal. When I backed in and got where we wanted to be, we were actually hitting some branches on this big tree here. Called them up, look at this, rushed right out, and they're gonna come here and cut the branch off. No questions asked, it was easy to get in touch with them. And it, Dawn called five minutes ago, and they're already here, they're just gonna cut this one branch off so it's not hitting the top of the camper. It's Friday afternoon, we're all settled in. Let's go out and check the beer box quite windy out here so do we go fruity again like the last couple times no I went kind of normal here just a good old-fashioned lager from aviators I actually put a couple up in here <laughs> to get them cold there we go aviator brewing company lager here we go aviator brewing company Fuquay Verena North Carolina Good old lager. Cheers. Yep, a lager, but it's really good. It's a little stronger than other lagers I've tasted, but it is good. There they go, driving off with the branches they cut. Very nice of them to do that. Where we're heading over to the Puel. We walked over there and it's beautiful, the water. So we're gonna go ahead and get in for the evening and then um, maybe we'll just pick up with you again tomorrow morning. Good morning. Just went on a nice little walk, about a mile and a half. There is a food lion right there. So we were able to stop by there, get onions that we forgot to bring. And uh, got some breakfast going. It's already steamy, so I hooked my fan up. Got that blowing on me while I'm cooking. Beautiful day, sun's out. It is supposed to rain some this morning. Maybe we'll luck out, keep the fingers crossed. After that, we'll get our day started. So Dawn got me on drinking this collagen. You put it in a little squirt bottle into your water every morning. And it has helped a ton with my uh, arthritis i had terrible arthritis in my elbows and shoulders especially my left shoulder and it's amazing how it's gone i mean it's almost basically completely gone i used to not even be able to stick like raise my hand like you're in high school again i wouldn't even be able to raise my hand but now it's a uh, worked wonder so one a day so dawn wanted to get it to try to keep the wrinkles away mm -hmm. i drank it because she insisted it was good for arthritis so i thought yeah i've tried turmeric and everything else that's supposedly good for arthritis but this has actually worked i'm gonna stick a link below if you want to maybe try and see if it helps your arthritis or your wrinkles one or the other look at that black stone bacon how perfectly <coughs> even it's cooked little hot sauce and breakfast is served look at that perfectly cooked bacon some veggies and some egg whites Oh, so delish. Got some fresh pineapple cut left over from the pizzas yesterday. If you're wondering what the orange sprinkles are, it's, what is it? Tajin. What is it? Tajin. Tajin Classico seasoning. Of course you can use it on meat and things like that, but it's really good on fruit. It's got like chili peppers and other seasonings in it. I'm sure salt, but it is good on fruit. 
Mm. So a first time RVer's job is never done. I'm gonna paint Dawn's toenails. <laughs> Dawn and I decided to come by and hit the Duplin Winery here. There's actually another location in North Carolina. We hear people all the time ranting and raving about the wine tasting and the uh, wine slushies they have. So we're gonna do that right now. Look at this. This is one half of the oldest wine barrel in America. The other half is in Rose Hill, North Carolina, the other location. Hmm. The oldest wine barrel in America. Let's go take a look inside. So they got a bunch of different wine tasting rooms that they'll bring you into. It's about five of these, I think, in here. And of course, tons of wine and cheeses and stuff you can buy. Nuts and jellies and all kinds of things. Finished up the wine tasting. It was great, absolute blast. Our bartender was just hysterical. And at the end, you get a free glass of wine. They're also known for their uh, wine slushies, but we went with the glass of wine. Just gonna sit outside, enjoy our wine, watch Route 17, the main drag of Myrtle Beach, and look at the uh, marsh there. Decided to come to Barefoot Landing for a little while. It's raining, but not stopping anyone from enjoying themselves even at the crooked hammock brewery there it goes we missed the osprey again we we're inside relaxing a little bit i've heard him go over twice so i'm gonna go hang out there and see if i can get him on camera i'm gonna catch this osprey once and for all he went around behind you guys there so i'm hoping all right Oh, here he comes. That's just one cool military aircraft. Started raining some. We picked the kids up from the beach. Got them some Zaxby's for dinner and we're sneaking out to have dinner without them. We may go right across the street here to Horst Kasthaus German restaurant. I hope it's good. So if you're at the campground and you wanna come over here, walk. We didn't know we were coming here or we would have walked. Parking is very tight. I lucked out, a truck pulled out of this spot. This is probably the only spot my truck would fit in but it's still tight. Ah, squeeze, squeeze. Dinner is served, German style. Oh, I'm good. Schnitzel and pork chop. The pork chop is good. And of course, a beer. Yeah, we're packing up so we can leave tomorrow morning. We're going to actually head right down to South Myrtle Beach, drop the camper off at the dealer, and they're going to do some repairs, and then we'll pick it up. Our next trip is until the end of next month, camping wise, but we are going to Yellowstone for 10 days. So. We'll be doing some videos for that. Had that great meal at the German restaurant tonight. Boy, am I stuffed. We had to bring some home. Lucky enough to watch Hangover 1 and Hangover 2 a little bit. And then we hung out with some subscribers that we met that came up to us uh, Friday. Hung out with them for a while yesterday and today. But it's time to head back home. We are uh, looking forward to Yellowstone here in about two weeks, so that'll be fun. Hopefully everything will go smooth with the repairs on the new camper. And uh, we'll be back to camping in about uh, five, six weeks. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends. Leave us some comments. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.
Good Sunday morning to you. Can you hear the birds chirping? It's a beautiful morning, nice and breezy. Feels like fall almost. The reason this is looking out of order here is because I forgot to do the tip of the trip. And while I was getting the RV broken down, I thought about it. <laughs> and the tip of this trip is going to be learn the back roads to barefoot landing. If you want to go there, which most people when they visit Myrtle want to go to, especially when you're staying at this park because it's less than a mile away, but learn the back roads. That way you don't have to get out on 17 and hit the traffic lights. It's quick and easy. And I know I mentioned before, you can take your golf cart, do it on your golf cart too if you happen to have one. And that's where all the restaurants and shops and things like that, brewery, that Dublin winery we went to is right there. So there it is, tip of the trip learn the back way to barefoot landing save yourself some time and aggravation with dealing with uh, 17 you'll probably sit at the light out there to get on to 17 longer than it will take you to take the back roads to barefoot landing all right now let's uh, close out this video